So what is payola? Ever seen Cadillac Records? Watch this. I got a hell of a mortgage. Uh, yeah, I got one of those. I'll tell you what, put this record on the table. Pays off everybody. Leonard. People buy money's record, I gotta make more. I'm into you every month. Yeah, but I gotta be fair. I know, I mean, you gotta be fair. The motherfuckers bring in the Glenn Fittich and the Johnny Walker. But you gotta ask yourself. Do they really stand up to Jackson and Grant? I don't bribe DJs. I do. You realize he doesn't care about your music. It's just about the money with him. All right, everybody, this is the newest race music right out of Chicago. You're on your own. That is payola. What up, you guys? It's your boy Omega. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. Omega Classic Records is the page and the name. So, definition of payola? Watch this. Outlawed by the FCC since the mid-30s, payola basically equates to paying for airplay. Parallel to gangsters slipping newspaper editors an envelope of cash for favorable coverage or influencers taking huge sums of money to promote a product, as long as they disclose that they've taken the money, then everything's cool. Otherwise, they'd be approaching the legally dubious world of payola. As it relates to hip hop, there were no shortage of times where fans or even artists believed that a track's radio presence came from a bribe rather than the DJ's personal preference. Where it was estimated that low level DJs made up to $50 a week in bribes during the 70s, inflation meant that by the time hip hop rose to commercial prominence, the sums that were being forked over for 100 spins a week exploded to such a degree that labels have been forced to pay out settlements in the millions after getting caught red-handed. It's an age-old practice that they've been doing for years that dates back since the 50s, as you've seen back there with Money Waters. Record promoters notoriously paying DJs that controlled the airways of the times and up to today, unfortunately. Many artists have spoken out against it. Amongst those, Nas, Kanye West, of course, and even Dave Chappelle. Remember when Nas went crazy on the, on the radio and he said, Hot 97 is taking money to play other, these records and da 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 da. And everyone was like, Nas is insane. And Elliot Spitz was like, I'm gonna look into that. And Elliot Spitz went in there and he was like, hey, these guys are taking payola. And they ended the practice, the age old practice of payola in radio. The wrong people are in power. You know, his hip hop thing comes from the streets. We need our freedom. If y'all if y'all ain't gonna go for this fight for y'all freedom, y'all gonna be like them sucker artists that just go up to the radio station and kiss ASS just to get some airtime or just suck flex or suck clue in them trying to get on their best side so they could play your record. When Nas, Godson, answers him back, they team up with the evil. See, it's a whole evil empire funded by a bunch of other evil empires, Def Jam, one of them, that's giving them money to play all their artists' records. Meanwhile, the struggling artists have to try to recreate records that sound like Jay, and they're destroying themselves. They don't, if you listen to 90% of the rappers, they don't even, they're not even creative. How many fake in their streams get in their place from machines and reveal that behind the smoke and mirrors, they ain't really big as they seem. Real people, real program directors with wives and kids that love music, that can't There you have it. So now you know what payola is. Make sure that you get your record played the right way. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. 
Omega Classic Records is the page and the name. Omega None Rhymes Greater. Peace. Trouble!